Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert and in this video we'll have a look at an introduction to Search Server Express 2008. If you need information on how to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint, we recommend you take a look at our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. More information can be found at www.wssops.com. Search Server Express is a free download from Microsoft. Using Search Server Express, you can index and search SharePoint sites, network shares, exchange public folders, and external websites. Search Server Express is also based on very common technology with SharePoint. So let's have a look at the product. Okay, so I'm here on my Windows server that is running Windows SharePoint. So I have my Windows SharePoint running as you can see. So I swap over to where I've downloaded Search Server Express and simply open it to commence the installation. Once the files have been extracted, um, I can have a look at reading the hardware or reading the installation guide, but first thing that I need to do is to select to run the search server preparation tool. This will perform a number of checks of the equipment that we have and the software that's installed to ensure that it's suitable for search server to be installed correctly. Once this is complete, we simply press the finish button to return to the original menu. Now select the install search server. We now need to accept the terms of the agreement of the software and hit the continue button. The only option that we've presented here is the standalone option. Um, we can select the file location, we can change this to another location on our machine. Um, and also the location for the indexed files. Uh, so once we've selected those, we simply go back and select the Install Now button. The install will now proceed. There is no further option for us to interact with the installation. We just have to wait for the process to complete. Once the installation is completed, you will be asked to run the SharePoint Products Technologies Configuration Wizard now. Simply leave this option checked and select the Close button. The reason that it uh, requests that is because Search Server Express 2008 is built on the same technology that's used for Windows SharePoint services. To commence the configuration process, we simply click the Next button. We note that a number of services will be shut down during this process. We click yes to continue. We're now prompted as to where we want to install the new Search Server Express site. Um, by default it's going to want to install in the default site, but it has detected that a SharePoint site already exists here. So we don't want to select the first option, which will overwrite the SharePoint site. We want to select the second option, which does not overwrite the existing SharePoint site and actually creates a new one at the following port number. So again, it's important to note this port number because this is how you will access Search Server Express once the installation is complete. Select the second option and hit Next to continue. The installation process will now perform 12 configuration steps. Once the process is completed and the configuration is successful, simply press the finish button to complete the installation process. The following page should now be displayed. Select the option here to go to the search administration page. The 
this is the administration page for your search server. By default, uh, the search server will search your SharePoint sites. To add additional places for it to search, you select content sources under the crawling option on the left hand side of the screen. As you can see, the local Office SharePoint server is already being crawled by the Search Server Express. So what we want to do is add a new content source. We simply click that option on the menu bar. So what you can see now is that we give our content source uh, a name. So what I'm going to give it here is data documents. And you'll note that I can choose to have the content source being a SharePoint site, a website, a file share, or an exchange public folder. In this case, I'm going to select a file store which already exists on this server. So I'm going to indicate that share and scroll down. I can choose whether the folder and the subfolders is the starting address. I can choose what schedule I want the full crawl to happen and also when I want the incremental crawl to take place. So at the moment the only full crawl that I've got scheduled is every 20 minutes and at the moment the only incremental I've got is also every 20 minutes. What I can do here is simply edit the schedule which allows me to alter how often the information in my source is crawled and indexed. So I can go in here and I can change the schedule when it occurs and determine exactly when my indexing will take place. But for the time being I'll just select cancel and continue on with the configuration process. I'd also like the information to be crawled immediately once I've selected this data source. I select OK to continue and complete the configuration. As you can see now I have two sources on which that my content will be searched. My local SharePoint site as well as the data documents folder on my network which I've just configured. To return to our search server administration just click the search administration link in the top left hand corner of the page. Back on our administration page you'll see the active crawls currently in place. The one for the search for SharePoint has just been running for about 27 minutes. The data documents one that I created has been running for about 12. Um, if we scroll down a bit further we'll see that it also lists the recently completed crawls. On the left hand side there are a number of links and options that you can use to improve and configure further the actions of your search server. You can see that when I run a search by typing in the search term in the box at the top, I'm returned with results from my SharePoint site and any other content sources that I've specified. So if I've specified file shares or public folders, I will get that in the search results. Over on the right hand side, you'll also see results listed from searches run on via live.com. If you found the information in this video helpful, we would appreciate a donation. To make a donation, go to donation.ciaops.net.au Once again, I thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Remember, you can always send feedback to director at ciaops.com and keep up to date with what's going on via my blog, supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much.